you feeling? Are, are you ready to go this week? Yeah, so today's obviously it's a bit right in today, so I'll get through training today and then um, be fine for the weekend. But uh, yeah, it's been a, a frustrating start to the year for many reasons, but hopefully get going this weekend. Yeah, um, we're entering a period where there's going to be a lot of games in a lot of days. Um, sorry, not so many days. Um, are you going to have to manage this uh, as you sort of get back to full fitness? Um, I think everyone's probably um, a bit unsure of what's to come and uh, me being including in that, included in that. Uh, I think the prep I've done to get back to playing now has been strong, so I think that'll hold me in good stead. Um, coming to games, but it's, it's a bit of an unknown, I guess. Hey, uh, watching the boys um, from the sideline has been obviously a tough, you know, sort of couple of weeks. Um, they've needed some experience. Has it been it's tough sort of, you know, not been able to help them? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always frustrating watching, um, and particularly, you know, with the, the youth we've got out there at the moment. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to replace uh, experience, and having a few more experienced heads out there um, can certainly be helpful, and hopefully this weekend I can uh, bring a little bit of direction and, and leadership amongst that young forward group, and uh, hopefully it goes towards us winning. Are there any young players, young forwards that you've taken under your wing a bit over the couple of months of being on the sidelines? Uh, I mean, guys like Tommy, Tommy McCartan and, and those um, younger key forwards, I mean, I haven't had any really young key forwards taken on the wing because we haven't had any keys out there. But, um, I mean, there's, it's an exciting bunch. Um, I mean, Tommy Papley's been doing a great job. Uh, he's the most experienced out there and, you know, he's... He's playing like a man possessed at the moment, so he's been he's been uh, putting a lot on his shoulders and, and playing really well. But looking forward to getting out there and giving him a hand. And if you are selected to play, do you think your body will be right to pinch hit the ruck a bit, or maybe focus on your forward role at least initially? Um, yeah, I mean things change during games, so uh, we're going with the I'm going with the plan to be flexible. And if, if I need to use the ruck, then so be it. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll win. So. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, I mean, I've, I've had, uh, as you said, frustrating, frustrating years before, and and they are, you know, they feel like I play a lot of time, and then uh, you know I'll miss a, a lot of the season, which I have a couple of years ago, and played a full season last year for the first time in my career, and then um, this year's been a bit of a, a stop start again. So that's been disappointing. But uh, I mean, yeah, the young guys out there, as I said earlier, um, it's hard to replace experience, and hopefully I can bring a bit of that this weekend. If I get through. Uh, a little bit. I mean, during the the first lockdown, um, I had surgery just before that, so it's. Uh, I mean, I, I I didn't have to to train with other guys at the time. I was doing my own rehab, so um, I was still able to see a physio outside of the club and um, you know get my work done there. So that was okay. Uh, but um, I mean. The lockdown was it actually worked out right for me because I have a young, a young, young son now, so he just turned one last week, so I spent a bit of time with him. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good escape, and um, if there was a bright side to come out of it, I got to see a few um, milestones for him, and I mean, that was a good side of it. Seth, can, can you can you run us through sort of the setbacks you had? So was it your calf you started with, and and so just from the end of last season, the sort of the setbacks you've had so far? Yep. So. Uh, just to think back, um, I uh, strained my hammy slightly um, uh, just before the season started. Uh, missed the pre-season games with that, and then um, as I was looking to make a return round one, I felt a bit of discomfort in my knee, and it turned out that I'd uh, done some damage to my meniscus. So I had to go and get an arthroscope um, a few days after round one, which was, you know, just so happened that the lockdown happened pretty much the next day. Uh, so that happened, came back, and then uh, was was nearing a return, and then. Uh, did my calf and that's the, uh, the last one. Is it sort of in a way you've had a lot of setbacks in the past, you knew what it took to, to get back and so rehabilitation was something you were familiar with, was that helpful I suppose in a way? Yeah I think so definitely, I mean it's it's disappointing that I can say I know what rehabilita rehabilitation is about because I've been there uh, plenty of times before but um, no I mean I was confident, I'm confident now with the work I've done and once we get through today uh, I look to you know have another strong season. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we're, we're a pretty tight-knit group anyway. Um, we always have been. We've got a lot of guys that aren't from Sydney, so they don't necessarily have too many guys um, you know, outside the club that they can uh, hang around with. So they're, they're forced a bit to, to be together outside the club and go out for dinners. and can't really do that now, but they're forced to hang out a little bit. So I think um, being together won't be uh, too hard an ask for a lot of our players because 
they do generally enjoy each other's company. You've been here for a long time, but have you got a, just like some different kind of period for you? Like this club's been so strong and been known for so many years, but do you feel like it's going through a bit of a changing period at the moment? Oh, I mean, it's, it's a different side to, to when I first got here, that's for sure. I think Josh Kennedy and, and I are the only two left from my first year. So, uh, I mean, it is a different side. We are we are younger, but at the same time, it's a, it's a really exciting time. I mean, some of the talent we've got um, that are coming out, I mean, you've you seen guys like Dylan Stevens, um, you know, Elijah Taylor that came in last week. Those guys, are they're showing a lot, and I can't wait to see what they can produce going forward. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think um, I don't think we'll be down for for long. I mean, you know, th those guys are they bring a lot of talent, and it's going to take guys time to get used to gelling together and, and playing together. And I think we can we can only get better. You've had a, obviously a lot of classic matches in recent times with the Hawks and build up a bit of a rivalry with them. How do you pass on that history and passion to the younger players? Yeah, we do have a, a, a good rivalry, and I mean, over the last probably eight or nine years, we've had some. Um, really close games, and I think the younger guys are, are aware of that because it, you know, it's not like it was a long time ago that we were having close games. So we've had a lot of games, a lot of momentum swings, and um, I think that we, we always enjoy playing Hawthorne and enjoy beating them, and uh, it's always a really good competition because they're, a, you know, they're a really fierce team too. So uh, we look forward to that again this week. The Hawks are struggling a bit at the moment, lost three in a row, and uh, weren't, weren't able to get their ball movement happening against Melbourne last weekend. How can you take advantage of that? In their bad form? I mean, I don't think it's going to um, have much of a bearing on this weekend. As, as you said, we have a bit of a rivalry, so um, I mean, we're, we're up for this weekend. No doubt they will be too. So I think it'll be another, um, you know, another strong contest. What about the Sydney Derby, Sam, in Perth? How does that, how does that sit with you having to play it over there? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's disappointing, but I think we all understand that um, the AFL is in a pretty tight spot at the moment, and, and we have to be flexible and and do what we can to to keep the competition going. And that's that's the main thing that we're all trying to achieve is just, just to get games out so we understand that uh, it's, it's not ideal to, to have the Sydney derby outside of Sydney but um, I mean it has to be done so we're all fine. Is any been sort of talk for you guys are you going to have to isolate and go to Queensland or stay in Perth for a long time do you have any sort of clarity around how, how long you might have to be away from home? Uh, if we go to Perth we'll, we'll be in a quarantine for a couple of weeks um, and in Queensland at the moment I think unless things change around here uh, I mean we'll, we'll be we'll be you know, probably as strict as we are here, we're, we're, we are living under certain restrictions. Um, I'm sure that'll be the same in Queensland, but uh, at the moment it'd be the same as, as here, unless things, you know, continue to um, head down a bad path in, in New South Wales. Are you going to take the family over to Perth? Uh, probably not to Perth. Uh, I mean, every guy's going to be different, but um, if we go up to Queensland and we have to spend, you know, um, four or five weeks away from home or, or even longer potentially, um, then I think they'll probably come up and, and spend a bit of time.